Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. Um, it's me, Haley, and I know usually you see Sky on Tuesdays, but she was busy and wasn't able to make a video for today, so she's going to do one tomorrow. So yeah, it's me. Also wanted to pass on um, a little message. Lauren is really sorry that she couldn't get a video up yesterday. She ended up working all day and then really late, so the time she got home there wasn't any time to make a video. So yeah, she is really sorry, but she will see you next Monday. Okay. So, I am going to share the topics with you. So the topics this week are Christmas themed and holiday themed. So that's why I chose to sit here in front of my lovely Christmas tree. I thought it set a good ambiance and a good mood. Yeah. So our first topic that we have is, um, we're quickly going to share one tradition that we have, one Christmas tradition that we have with our family or with our friends. Um, I, I like to consider our family a pretty traditional family. We do the same things every year, we and that kind of stuff. But when I really sat down to think about it, there wasn't one tradition that really stood out in my head that is like weird that I want that I um, would be worth sharing with you guys. So the um, there was one thing that I came up with though and it is that and I know, I've heard a lot of families do this now so it's not just us. Um, on on Christmas Eve when we get back from church we um, sit down and open up one present and the one present they're always um, a, pair, a pair of new pajamas for the year. So that's what we do every year is um, me and my sister get a new pair of pajamas and we usually get my mom a pair of pajamas and then we um, put our pajamas Amazon and we go over to my aunt's house and they have a little um, uh, Christmas Eve get together. So we have hors d'oeuvres and we just get together and stuff like that, do other little sorts of presents and we all wear our pajamas. So it's like a nice Christmas Eve pajama party. Okay, so the other two topics that we have this week are um, gift ideas and present ideas for your girlfriend. And then the second one is tips and advice and things to consider when bringing your girlfriend home for the holidays to meet your family and stuff like that in our experience with both those topics. So first of all, I'm going to talk about presents. Um, this year for Christmas, I, I have a girlfriend, and I wish I could share with you guys what it is that I'm doing for her for Christmas, but she watches these videos, so I can't tell you what I'm getting her, but it's pretty darn cute, I think so, and she informed me today that I am probably going to fall in love with the present that she is getting me, and that it's absolutely amazing, so I'm just feeling a little bit of pressure right now, but, you know, she's cute, it's worth it, yeah, she's watching, hey baby. My advice for presents for your girlfriend, I like to say keep it personal and um, when in doubt, be crafty. Yeah, um, a personal present means so much more than um, going out and spending like hundreds of dollars on jewelry or huge extravagant gifts when you could say simply that, simply I love you with something cute and something small, something personal like, um, uh, I know this is, idea is kind of overdone, but I still think it's, it's nice. A scrapbook, um, recording all of your time together so far. So cute little sayings, places that you've gone, pictures, maybe if you have like movie stubs and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, that's always a really nice idea. It's really personal and it shows the person that you really care and that you have taken the time to collect those things over the days, the months, the years that you've been together. So you can always do something like that. That's my idea. The other topic that I think, how much time do I have? I have a little bit of time I'm going to talk about quickly is um, advice on bringing your girlfriend home for the first time to meet your family at Christmas. Um, this can put a lot of pressure on you, a lot of pressure on your girlfriend, and a lot of pressure on your family too, to say the right thing, to do the right thing, to act the right way. Um, my advice is to try and make it as informal as possible. Try and not make it into a big deal. Because when you try and make things into a big deal, you're almost always let down. Or, um, there's, like I said, there's too much pressure and then people just can't act the way that they want to or act like themselves. So, um, my experience with bringing uh, a girlfriend home for Christmas has have been positive ones. I've only done it once. Um, last year, and it went over great. My family is super okay with me being gay. I've been out for a few years before bringing someone home, so they had time to get used to the idea, to really become comfortable with me having girls around. So when they came over to meet my family, it was it was great. It was like no big deal at all. Um, but some families won't be like that. If you've just recently come out to your family and they're just now getting used to the idea of you being gay and dating girls, I'm not sure if it's the best to force them to be around your girlfriend right now. Um, 
I know it's probably a really exciting time for you because you might be dating someone and you really you really enjoy having them around and now your family knows so you really want to um, meld those two worlds together but it's something that you can't force and you can't rush it because when you rush things um, people are just going to be uncomfortable and it could cause more problems than not. Um, I hope everyone has a really good Christmas and a really Merry Christmas. I'm not sure if I'll be seeing you before the holidays, seeing as it's this weekend. So yeah, have a great Christmas. I hope everyone enjoys themselves, is responsible, and be safe. Um, yeah, and I don't even know if I'll be seeing you before New Year's, so if not, have a happy New Year's. Yeah, so I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their week, and yeah, bye everyone.